Hey, what is up guys? Bonds here. It is Thursday afternoon and I am starting my video today because holy cow, last video almost killed me. So I think last week's video turned out pretty good. However, I started it on Monday morning and finished it on Thursday morning at 2 a.m. Today is Thursday at 3 p.m. I hope to have most of my footage filmed by like Monday maximum. So I have plenty of time to edit my video and probably most importantly for my sanity, plenty of time to sleep. So I vaguely know what kind of beat I'm going to be doing in this beat and I want to show you on my keyboard because Aries just released a snippet of a new song and it has such a great chord progression. Yaw to E, yaw to easy on me. So basically Aries sent out a snippet of a future song he's going to be releasing. <laughs> Chord progression is so classic. I promise you, I know every single Aries song like the back of my hand, and Aries has never used that chord progression before. Granted, you probably don't care because it's a pretty common chord progression in other types of music. To be honest, almost every beat I've made in the past two months has been somewhat Aries inspired. So let's just get to the DAW. Let's figure some stuff out. I promise eating the skin of an orange not that bad. So there's definitely a lot of swing to that. All right, now let's listen back to the original rhythm and see where I put those little fills and if I can add the fills right there. So before I go crazy on my drum rhythms, what should I do for the main like melody instruments? Because I've been thinking a lot about guitars recently, and my almost all of my beats have been guitars, but I wonder if I can start with like a synthesizer that can just kind of lay down the chords and the guitar can be like the accent sound. I think that's the way to go. Do you think I could use my actual synthesizer? Even though I have a Jupiter synth VST, I want to see if I can use this because I want to use this. <laughs> All right, I give up. I just messed around on my keyboard for like 25 minutes. I came up with something that was pretty cringe, so let's start something new. <laughs> Hold up, wait. I just realized that Aries does have another song that has this chord progression. It's an unreleased song, but it goes like, I climbed your gate, you put me away, under your skin, home empty, I go on. Good morning, how are you up there? fail your rules please don't confuse alrighty boys so it is probably dark in my room I can't really tell a bit better so this beat has changed a lot since you last saw it basically I did quite a bit of reversing stuff on my guitar loop and I actually chopped it up so it's like not exactly in the same order the chops are not that major but let's just listen to the drop see what it sounds like I need to touch some things up, but that's a really, really fire idea, especially the second half of the loop. I just really love how this sounds. I just think that sounds amazing. However, that is a super, super repetitive loop, and I cannot play it the entire song. Not gonna lie, this camera angle is actually so sick. If you haven't got this organic textures pack from labs you are absolutely missing out and your beats will never sound as good as mine <laughs> seven o'clock at night and the lighting looks really really good however in 25 minutes it's probably gonna get pretty dark in my room anyway that's not what i want to talk about what i want to talk about is the fact that sometimes you just have a bad idea <laughs> I, I we were having a little conversation on my live stream a couple weeks ago and my point was you should feel free to throw away 
a bad beat. It's basically saying that not all your ideas are going to be the one. So instead of working on one song for like six days and then finally realizing that it's pretty awful, um, you should just give up on it when it's like 45 minutes in and then you can move on to another beat. I don't really know how that works with YouTube though. Because for me, when I'm recording for a YouTube video, you can't help but get connected to your beat. If I spend a whole bunch of time recording a video, shooting a video, and making a beat in a video, I'm not gonna just throw that away and start over. I mean, I probably should if I want every single video to be amazing, but <laughs> maybe I do have to do that. Maybe I do have to do that. <laughs> Here's my question before the sun goes down and you can no longer see me. Do you ever work on a beat and then like when you're only 15 minutes into the process, you decide, all right, I'm going to throw this away and start over in something new. I personally can only think of a couple times where I've thrown away a beat that early in the process. Yeah, so it is 717 right now and the lighting is going down. I told you it's pretty um, precarious. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'll see you after school on Friday. We'll probably do a lot of work on this beat. We might have the official vocals recorded in by tomorrow. All right, now you can barely see me at all. Let's get to that. Good morning, folks. I have school very shortly, but I want to fill you in on the fact that I had a really, really awesome idea last night while I was editing my video. School's about to start, so I can't actually show you the idea right now, but it's a really, really awesome idea. Um, let's get into it. <laughs> Sheesh. I'm not gonna lie, my history class is being a jerk. So if you're on my Discord server, you would know that I took a online US history class during the summer. You're supposed to schedule a phone call with your teacher um, before you're allowed to take a unit test. And my unit test is scheduled to be taken on next week, Thursday. However, my teacher has been entirely booked Wednesday and Tuesday. So basically, long story short, I have about five lessons of homework that I have to finish today and tomorrow so that I can make a phone call with him on Monday and take my test sometime before Thursday. I'm gonna be sitting here for probably the next two to three hours working on this homework. So I really hope we have some time to work on some stuff after this. If not, we'll have to work on the song on Saturday. <laughs> Hold up. Hey, chill bro. That's pretty fire. Can't believe I've never tried this camera angle out. That actually looks really nice. Let me see my computer. Hardly. So in order to stay very productive, I'm gonna make a gigantic time lapse of me doing homework for the next three hours. Maybe just me doing this time lapse will make sure that I don't get distracted, walk away, start watching YouTube videos or anything like that. Actually though, this camera angle is actually getting me so hyped. <laughs> Before we get too hyped, let's do some history homework. With this online course, every single time I take a quiz, it has a little box that basically says, what is your feedback on this lesson? The question asks what you enjoyed and what was difficult. And I think in every single lesson for the past couple weeks, I've written, I'm very tired right now. I'm very tired right now. <sighs> okay, so what am I doing? <laughs> All right, let's go into another lesson. <laughs> All these feelings bottle inside like a house dog bounty. All right, boys, I'm gonna take this quiz and then I'm probably gonna listen to some music that can get me hyped up and then I'll start working on the beat. I had this idea while I was editing my video last night because inside DaVinci Resolve, you have a feature where you can actually listen back to your video footage at two times speed. So if I hit L on my keyboard, I can go two times speed like this. And that's how it works. So in order to kind of breeze through my footage, I left my video at two times speed and I actually listened to the beat and it actually sounded pretty good. I, I want to be able to sing on the song, so let's move it down. Ooh, oh. <laughs> awesome idea, I like. Now I definitely think it's time to start arranging, start getting some vocals on here just to try to lay down exactly what is going to happen in this song. Like a couple months ago at this point, I would have just said, all right, we're done with this song. Let's move on to the next one. But no, no, this is definitely missing a lot. So I hope you guys understand my process by this point. Um, basically at this point in the song, I'd just be kind of like, bah, 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 bah. I'd just be kind of messing around with vocal lines in my head and in my room, just walking around. Once I got some, I just record a whole bunch of mumbles into my microphone. So I kind of have an idea of where, where notes should be, where consonants should be and stuff like that. Bah, 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 bah. Right before I turn on my camera, 
at the beginning of this entire thing, I was thinking about saying, okay, this is what I have at the moment. And then I noticed that at the moment is ATM, as in like, I'm probably not the first person to notice that. And you're probably all cringing that I just now realized that ATM could stand for at the moment. However, when I kind of like was thinking about that, it's kind of a cool vibe for a song. Moment, I want you gone. Woo. That's interesting. Oh, put me away. Mm -hmm. In a moment, I want you gone. So please push me away. Don't let me love you long. Please leave me out under a daughter. Don't leave me out. Don't let me. Just make me move along. Let me love you long. So leave me out. Just make me move along. Maybe in the very last line, I can copy the guitar kind of. It's a pretty uncomfortable standing position because this microphone is it's just low enough that I can't stand all the way up and it's just high enough that I have to go like this when I want to go to the computer. You gonna see exactly this is what I mean. I want to touch things with my mouse, but I also want to talk to the microphone. boys it is time for dinner for me so i'm gonna head out right here because i don't really think there's much i left to show you in terms of lyrics maybe i'll fill you in when i have a really awesome idea but hey it's friday afternoon friday night gonna be saturday morning tomorrow oh shoot my camera just died all right so we got a live stream tomorrow see you then Alrighty, boys it is 7 30 right now i woke up about 15 minutes ago and i had breakfast i'm not gonna lie um in the past i used to wake up at like 5 a.m and i used to go for runs but Ever since school started, I've gone to bed way past midnight every single night. And if I go to bed at 12.30 in the morning, there is no freaking way I'm waking up at 5 a.m. <laughs> Granted, that's not an excuse to not run. I probably should get back into that, but whatever. So I have a live stream in 25 minutes. I'm going to clean my bedroom first, and then I want to show you some really cool things on my computer that I want to try out during the stream. If you guys are curious what bongons are reads in this free time, that giant pile of books over there has handbook of chord substitutions, guitar picture chords, lists, greatest piano solos, choppins, preludes and etudes for piano, nutcracker suite, full score, and Mozart's famous piano solos. Before my live stream starts in about 10 minutes, I wanna quick show you something that someone sent me through email and I want to see if it sounds good enough for me to use it in the song that I'm working on right now. So while I did get this plugin for free, um, I'm not technically sponsored, so it's called Envoice One. Let's see if it sounds good. Mary had a little lamb. So you have to write every single syllable separately. Mary. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little, little lamb. <laughs> There's also a boy voice in here. Mary had a little lamb. So I have a live stream in about five minutes and I will be working on my song a bit in the live stream. So we'll see. Maybe I want to use this as like a vocal chop kind of thing. Either way, uh, I got a quick um, brush my teeth before the live stream. So, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my. I need to... Wow, I just lost a lot of viewers. Hey boys, it is four in the afternoon and I just thought of something really, really great. I'm gonna record on my French horn. Okay, so for context, I just started recording this little thing right here and I recorded in using my guitar, of course, and my pedal board. I'm using some very, very basic effects, but my melody has a lot of reversing in it, which sounds really cool. So the plan is to record that on my French horn. Let's get into it. God, I mean, that's pretty fire. 
kind of fire. All right, today is Monday afternoon. Just about finished editing this video. It turned out really great. Let me just say thank you guys so much for everything you've done for me recently. Um, you guys are too, too good for me. Right now, as we speak, I'm going to start recording my vocals in this song. I want to record them professionally. I want to mix them professionally. This is going to be a really great song. It's going to play in the outro. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you really like the subscribe button, join my Discord server. Here comes the song in the outro. I'll see you guys later. Woof! In a moment, I want you gone. So please push me away. Don't let me love you long. So leave me now. I guess I get strong. Cause I'm mad strong. Make me move along. Wake me up before I lose the stream. Make me know that you, you know what you mean. Please don't play alone. 